Hello, my name is Matt Pierce. Welcome to GAMP. I've noticed an increasing trend recently with lots of guitar brands adding new and interesting pickup switching options to their lineup. Fender have added some new switching features to the Pro 2 range, and of course Ibanez have their AZ and new AZS lines with the 9 and 10 way Dynamic switching systems. So it seems like the mainstream manufacturers are finally catching up to the guitar community's thirst for versatility. However, there are still some limitations to what you can buy off the shelf. Thankfully, there are aftermarket parts suppliers who have the solution. In this video, we're going to be trying out the 10-way Stratocaster wiring harness from Six String Supplies, which utilizes the freeway 10 position blade switch. And while we're at it, let's give Blue a different look with a tasty new pick guard. I've got a few pick guards to choose from, white, mint green and black, but I'm going to go for the tortoiseshell one this time around as I'm digging the look. This is my Strat's current setup. If you're interested in watching it, I've made a full review and demo video of Blue on my channel, and you can find it by following the link in the description below. String Supplies is a UK-based parts company established in 2014. They started out offering a library of wiring diagrams teaching folks how to explore the myriad of tonal options achievable with some clever soldering. They later expanded into the YouTube realm, currently hosting over 50 instructional videos taking you through the detailed step-by-step -step assembly process. Six String Supplies offer a huge range of high-quality components as well as pre-wired harnesses to fit. Les Pauls, Juniors, SGs, 335s, Tellys, Esquires, Jazz and P bases, and of course strats. There's even one for PRS owners. Not only that, but they've also gone beyond the standard wiring options with examples like the Jimmy Page wiring harness for the LP, which gives you 21 different switching options. The Telecaster four-way mod, which allows for both pickups to be wired in series, giving you a fat humbucker-esque combination from two single coils. And of course the HSS pre-wired harness, which I currently have installed, which balances the potentiometers giving the single coils 250 and the humbucker 500K, bringing out the best of both. The most recent addition to the roster includes the Freeway 5B5-01 10-way blade switch. Freeway make a range of unique switching products that cleverly expand your wiring options by replacing your guitar switch with one that fits directly into the pre-existing hole. No need to drill into your beloved guitar and add extra toggle switches. The 5B5 fits straight into a strap pick guard and looks identical to a CRL switch once installed. Okay, let's get this wired up and I'll be right back with a run through of all 10 positions. I'm hooking up a new set of V-Mod pickups because I think the modern balanced tone will work very nicely for this mod and will be a good comparison between a stock Pro or Pro 2 Strat and the extra five tones the harness provides. Although there is some soldering required, the bulk of the work is already done. The freeway switch has been hooked up to three premium CTS pots with two paper and oil capacitors, a treble bleed circuit, and a switchcraft output jack. They've used cloth covered wire for most of the assembly and tinned copper wire for the ground circuit. So that was pretty easy. It only required a few connections to be soldered and took me about 30 minutes. Now that everything is installed, the guitar looks great, especially with the tortoiseshell guard. You never know it had the 10-way harness installed. I will say that the tiny holes make the job a little fiddly, but overall simple enough to do. So what pickup options has the freeway switch given us? Well, the lower bank gives the normal strap wiring options. So in position one, you've got the bridge. Position two, we have the middle and bridge. Position three, the middle on its own. Position 4, the middle and the neck, and position 5, the neck on its own. It's the upper bank that gives us the series and parallel combinations with position 1, giving us the neck, middle and bridge in series. Position 2, giving us the neck, middle and bridge again, but this time parallel. Position 3 is the neck and bridge in series. Position 4 is the neck and bridge in parallel. And position 5 is the neck and middle in series. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, it's positions one, three, and five on the upper bank that simulate the humbucker tones. And although they don't sound exactly the same as a humbucker, because the single coils are capturing a wider portion of the strings and are constructed differently, they do sound fatter, thicker, and sustain and cancel the hum, which are key characteristics of humbuckers, and they sound really good to my ear. In terms of six string supplies harness, I'm impressed. The packaging components and workmanship are all top notch. The Freeway 10 is solid and works as you'd expect, and I guess in time I'll find out how reliable it is. Buying them together as with this harness is a great way of minimizing the amount of hassle and ensuring your guitar gets the high quality parts and workmanship it deserves. For some, the benefit of buying a pre-wired harness isn't just to save time. You might not own any soldering equipment or indeed know how to solder. And therefore, if there's anything prohibitive about this set is that you will have to solder nine wires into place yourself. The freeway is a complicated switch to wire in with small terminals and no real room for error. And I enjoy having the peace of mind in knowing that the factory soldering is perfect, even if mine isn't. Of course, if you have the equipment, you could buy the components and solder the whole thing yourself to save some money, but the cost of the components still stacks up. So if, like me, you're okay at soldering, but wiring the whole thing seems a bit daunting, then the harness is the way to go. And if you don't have any soldering equipment, you could get a good guitar tech to wire it for you. If you're a die-hard Fender purist, then the chances are you're not going to want one, and I can understand why you might think that way. If you're looking for that Hendrix or SRV Strat sound, then you'll probably get what you need from three singles. I've always preferred an HSS Strat. So for me, the switch is an experiment to see if the series wiring works in place of a bridge humbucker. I often play in small venues covering a wide range of styles and genres, and there's rarely room for me to bring two guitars. That makes this switch a godsend. I can simulate other guitar sounds when the song requires it and do so in seconds. And that means the audience keep dancing and the band gets booked again. I imagine the 10-way switch is for studio musicians and session players, and those who need access to a broad tonal palette when having three or four guitars to hand isn't an option. Also, don't forget there's the dynamics and the feel of using the same guitar, so the 10-way could be for the player who loves their strap more than any other and needs a little extra versatility. I'd describe the extra five switching options on offer as unique and highly usable. The main selling points of this switch are tonal versatility and streamlined functionality, and Freeway have nailed it. As for the bridge humbucker, no. The 10 way doesn't do a convincing bridge humbucker because the neck pickup is always in play in positions one, three, and five. There's a round, clear, punchy tone, but there's a lack of bite and growl. Fortunately though, you have the option of wiring a humbucker to the Freeway 10, which I may try in the future. Thanks for watching. Please hit like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications of my future videos. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video, so please leave your comments below.